R1 and R2. And then R1 plus R2, those are the two going up forces. It's balanced by this coming down thing times L over 2. Okay, that's L over 2. Right, and then you consider rotational equilibrium about any one point. Okay, so let's say we take a rotation about this point, the second support, the, the right support. Okay, so R1 times L, that will give you a clockwise movement. And L2 pass through this point, so you can ignore this. And then this W times L over 2. This is the total load and it's acting at the center of this uh, cantilever span. So that's L over 4. So this times L over 4. And that will also give you a clockwise moment about this point. So they are of the same direction. So you add these two and they should be 0. So R1 it's simply um, W negative W L over 8. So what does negative mean? Negative means the reaction force there actually should be uh, going down rather than going up. Okay, so from the first one, R2, it's simply um, WL over 2 um, minus R1, so it's positive R WL over 8, so that means this is 5 WL over 8. And then you try to find out the next step, the bending moment here and here. Okay. So why don't we try to find uh, this one is easy because you can just cut it here and then you consider the left part. That will be a uh, uh, very easy to carry out. And then why don't we just uh, let's say take it here, okay? Take it here, and then you consider. Of course, if you chop the thing here at point B, you can take the left part, the whole left part, or the right part. And of course you would choose the, the right part because that will be a lot easier. Right? So we take this right part and then we draw it here. That's your right part. And that's uh, L for 4. And there's nothing on the right side. And then at this particular point you assume your positive pattern movement. Second. And then your positive shear force, left up, right down. Okay, so that's left, so left up. So this is my positive, assuming it's positive at a moment, and my assumed positive shear force. And then you just do your equilibrium again. So F is going up, minus, that's lead to W, W L over 4. That's zero. So F it's simply the L over four. Done. And then moment exactly the same. So the moment. Okay, that's clockwise. Suppose you consider rotation about this point. So that M plus is W times the L over four. Okay that will give you the total load acting on this little segment and this total load is actually acting at the center so this is L over 8 so times L over 8 and that's equal to 0 okay so this moment and this moment they are both uh, acting in a, a clockwise direction so they are of the same sign. So then these two add up to zero. So what is M? So M it's simply M it's simply 
um, negative WL square over 32 okay so what does negative mean according to our sign convention negative means parking okay so the bending moment at this particular point actually should be parking okay and if you want to find out the bending moment here for shift us there you draw something like this okay draw something like this this is your free body diagram okay this is your r1 from step one it's going down so that's the way over eight and there's nothing here point a that's l over two and you assume your positive moment here your positive shear force there okay and that's your free body diagram and then you can usually find out what is m and what is f using the two equilibrium conditions okay so making use of free body diagram and equilibrium condi conditions you can easily find out the uh, bending moment and shear force at uh, anywhere you like provided that in your step one you find out without any mistake the two the, the reaction uh, at all the supports